Only on 7 News, it's a dirty job, and they want to know why they have to do it. It's six months now since the Lower North Fork fire, and 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger went to Jefferson County, where families who lost everything are still looking for the state's help. We had a lot of chainsaws going out here today. I do it because I have to do it because nobody else is going to do it. This is a dirty job. The black and ash is unavoidable. Sweat kind of gets wiped and, uh, you know, we, we aren't out here for a beauty contest. Survivors of the Lower North Fork fire, like Tom Scanlon, Andy Hoover, and Scott Apple, spend much of their time dirty cleaning their property. It should have already been done by the uh, State Forest Service. They started the damn fire, and it's their responsibility, it's their obligation to clean up after themselves. Who should be doing this cleanup? Well, I think it should be the Forest Service. 7 News contacted the Colorado State Forest Service. We were told because of pending lawsuits, no one could comment. Those lawsuits are not from fire victims, rather insurance companies and a power company looking to be reimbursed due to the fire. We're trying from the Office of Emergency Management to secure the resources and the funding directly to Jefferson County so that they can provide the assistance to the families. Mickey Trost from the Office of Emergency Management tells 7 News, just today, $300,000 was secured for reforestation of the Lower North Fork area. She did not yet know if that meant money to help clear forest areas before restoring them. Marshall, I guess what we're looking for is just somebody to step up and do what's right and help us out while we're helping ourselves. In Jefferson County, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. And this week, the Lower North Fork Fire Legislative Commission will meet for the last time.